How's it going, guys? It's Rockman0005. Uh, welcome back to more Let's Play Luigi's Mansion 2 Dark Moon. Uh, as you can see, these uh, clips are sped up re right here. I'm uh, doing a little bit of post-commentary. I know I said I was going to be doing Stop the Nightmare in Treacherous Mansion, the uh, main boss, aka it was going to be the finale, but I actually forgot I got to show the secret missions first. And that's why I'm speeding this up. I'm speeding this up because the secret missions in all the different areas that are accessible to us as of now, because we've unlocked every secret, mi every secret mission that we can, they're, it's basically all the same mission. Basically, you're just going into different rooms, and uh, certain ghosts and ghosts have infet and uh, have infiltrated certain rooms, and you just have to get them. And once you've completed a certain amount of rooms, uh, the time the timer stops. It just keeps uh, increasing. There's not a certain time limit. It's just if you get a high time, that mean I mean the lower time you get, get the better. It's like one of the it's one of those kind of things. It's almost like a race to the finish, because. I just, yeah, I just thought it'd be appropriate to speed all this up because it's literally the the exact same mission in every area. You're just going into different rooms and getting ghosts. It's just, it's just basically a different area, you know. That's why, that's why I decided to speed this up. Uh, there should be, there's music, there should be music playing in the background. Hopefully, uh, if I, if I can't find any music, then oh well. But there's, hopefully, there should be music in the background. I'm not sure what I am gonna choose yet, but it, it'll be there. Don't worry. It'll probably be a remix or something. I gotta get that that non-copyrighted music, though. But, uh, overall, I did pretty good on these secret missions. It wasn't too tough. I did kind of bad on the secret mine one, though. However, I definitely did worse than I did on the on my playing file. I was able to do it in, like, under five minutes, and I got, like, seven minutes something, but, uh, you'll, you'll see. Um, where am I going now? I'm just going to the... Yeah, there's a library now, and sometimes, and surprisingly, I didn't think there was gonna be any, but there was some poltergeist in here. I didn't think there was gonna be any. Big brain Portuguese. Dun, 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 you guys know that song? It was the. Just got in, I just got hit in my head out of nowhere. It was the freaking. Uh, yeah, hi, hi, puffy, I'm Yumi's. <laughs> the song. I've. Oh my god, those old cartoons were so good. Like, oh my gosh. Early, early, mid 2000s. Like, the earlier 2000s. Those cartoons were just so funny. Like, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. But and stuff. Those were like the funniest shows I've ever seen. Like, oh my god. The subliminal messages they put in some of those shows were just hilarious. I swear to God, it was just amazing. Ah, silver. I, yeah, but I uh, silver ranked the gloomy manor. It wasn't it was that big of a deal. I just uh, skipped Egad's uh, talking to you because he basically just does the same thing every time. He's just like, oh yeah, go. Oh yeah, ghosts have uh, in infiltrated uh, this place. You gotta go. Uh, more, even more ghosts. Yada yada. It's just, it basically said the same stuff. He's just rewarding it basically. Sorry, I'm just sipping some, sipping some apple juice right there. I'm just kind of thirsty. It's kind of a thirsty or that. But, uh... Ugh, sorry. Just swallowed some shit. Got that, got that feeling. I, 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 I don't even want to say it. It's, it's too gross. But, uh... The Haunted Tower... Uh, now I'm doing the Haunted Tower secret mission. This, uh... Secret mission is... Kind of longer on the longer side, because... Haunted Towers is probably the biggest area in the game, even though it's only area number two. It's, like, got the most floors and the most rooms and stuff. So it's really... Sp they really spread it out in this mission, so that's why the mission's, uh... Clear time was kind of a low... It's kind of low standards. So, you got you got a lot of time. I think I did it in, like, six minutes something or five minutes something. But, uh, got some little creepers right there. I still love creepers. They're so funny. They just, like blob themselves and they have infinity health. It's so funny how they how ghosts can have infinity health like the the possessors and the creepers. See that's why the creepers should be like the main bosses. And they should hold the dark moon piece because they have infinity health too. They just don't have a bunch of layers of skin. And he's got the freaking Google or like the April Fools eyes are right there. Sorry the that was my computer screen blacked out. It seems like that happens to me every time I gotta start focusing on that. I'm sorry. It seems like that happens every time, because every time the, co the, com the computer screen blacks out, there's a it just freezes for a sec. And, yeah, but... Where am I going now? Come on, run, Luigi, run. Run. Run, dear, run. Because this day will be worse than your death. They float down here. They all float! Oh my god, it... Some people, some people thought that was real. Some people saw, thought that it was really uh, wasn't really that scary. I thought it was pretty scary. I mean, for its for I think for its time period. I mean, not it the movie for the movie's time period. I thought it was, it was it was probably on the scarier side for the movie's time period. I think because well, I mean, it came out in like the early '90s or something, so it didn't really ha they didn't really have that much technology out there. So I think I think they made it. I think they did a pretty pretty good job on that on that movie. You know, I mean, I, I mean, I guess. 
to now standards, the technology we have now, I guess it's not as scary. I mean, I've seen it. I've seen it online a good amount of times. That's where I first saw it online because it, I never got to see it in the. I never got to see it in theaters because it, when it came out, I don't even think I was born when it came out. And if it, it either I was just born or it didn't come out. I was born. I'm like I was born in like, what '96. I, th I don't remember when it came out. It's sometime in the '90s. I don't remember. I think it maybe it wouldn't have been. I don't know. But uh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that uh, Tim Curry played it though. That was kind of cool. I didn't think. Tim Curry doesn't look like what he looks like now. You can't imagine. I can't really imagine him playing it, but you know. But now we're going to the old Clockworks uh, Secret Mission. This one is pretty, pretty damn easy. This is probably this is probably the quickest one. It's like not very spread out at all. All the rooms that they make you go to are pretty close, pretty close to each other. Sometimes, sometimes they make you go to previous rooms and stuff. It's not that big of a deal, but uh, yeah, the first room they're making us go to the workshop. Freaking sneakers, dude! I hate sneakers. I always will. My favorite ghost is probably the Creeper, Creeper Greedy. Yeah, I think I like creepers more because creepers don't really hurt you. They only, only if you like run into their puddle, they just like you get inside their gelatinous form and such. But uh, whatever, whatever. I got some chain in my pocket. I heard that. I heard that song recently. I just found out it was by CeeLo Green too. I just realized that. I'm talking about, now I'm talking about celebrities and shit. I'm talking about like it. And now I'm talking about freaking. I'm talking about Tim Curry. And now I'm talking about CeeLo Green. <laughs> this isn't freaking Hollywood. This is Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. Duh. Great simpletons. I'm, just, I'm a simpleton. I don't know. All right, so we got some hiders right here. Hider. Oh, yeah, and I got punched. Which is really annoying. Is I don't really like how in this game that punch damage does 20 now. A little bit of trouble getting the sunglasses, his uh, sunglasses off right there. But uh, I don't really like in this game how the punch damage is 20. It just seems like a little bit of overkill. In the first game, I think it only did like, I think it did 10. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it did 10 from from Gold Ghost at least. I'm pretty sure it did 10. But now from Greenies, which are basically the Gold Ghost equivalents in this game, it does 20. It's a little bit. I think it's a bit overkill. But you know. But yeah, this game is this this game is definitely more difficult than the first one. That's a f that's a fact. You definitely lose health easier in this game than you do in the first. But uh, yeah, I cleared this in uh, four minutes. I'm pretty sure that was this that was my fastest clear time out of uh, all the secret missions. I'm pretty sure I got like what, four and a half on Gloomy Manor. I don't really remember, but uh, you'll see. Originally, what's kind of funny is I'm so happy I was able to speed this up because originally, guess how long this recording was? Go on, guess. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> it was, uh, originally it was uh, t almost a half hour. It was, you know, it was almost a half hour. It was uh, 28 minutes. 28 minutes. It was freaking insane. It was 28 minutes while well, I was cutscene, talking to EGAD, and just doing the secret missions in general. It was 28 minutes, and I was able to cut it down to 11. I thought I thought 11 is a good amount. I thought 11 is a good amount of time. It's not. It's not too short. It's uh not too. It's not too short, and it's not really too long either. I thought I sped it up pretty. I thought I sped it up pretty well. So my I don't really go try hard at editing too much. So I mean. Kind of a noob. I actually, <laughs> I got over to that gold bar platform by accident. I was freaking in the middle of sucking up coast and that slammer just glitched right there a little bit. I was in the middle of sucking up the slammer and I just kind of accidentally went on that little air air geyser right there. I guess they're yeah, I guess they are kind of air geysers. I guess they got the geyser form and I just missed that somehow. I just it's it's really weird getting the aim on these uh on these lifts, but whatever. What's yeah, I definitely. Yeah, like I said before, though, I did the worst on this, as I was, as I was saying before. I, I got like seven minutes because it was really spread out. Like there was a point where the last two rooms were on the first floor and on B two, so I had to go like all. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to see. I, I had to go all the way to Skip Slope, and yeah, this area was a little tough too because there was just greenies everywhere, and like four of them had uh, the hockey equipment, so I had to wait until they actually attacked. It's pretty crazy. But this room was easy. There was like three greenies just right there. And one with the hockey equipment. I don't even know how he got the hockey equipment. This was, this was like the freaking ice fishing room, or whatever. Oh, look at him! Be careful, son. Careful, son. Keeps my bod forever young, son. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door reference number one. Yeah. Oh man. Paper Mario. Those are the days. I haven't played that game in a while. I don't even. Know, I don't even know where it is, honestly. I, I should know. That was. 
Oh, that was probably my favorite Paper Mario game. Uh, Sticker Star, as most people think, was probably the worst. For sure. A lot, a lot of people didn't really like Sticker Star. Just, it was weird. It was like, I, I didn't really like the idea of, like, the, I didn't really like the idea of, like, the world map and how they got rid of the chapter system. I thought the FPS was kind of weird in that game. And, just, it was weird, and you couldn't really, it's, they, they got rid of the, they got rid of partners, so you were just Mario. Like, I loved how you could get partners in that game. That was, like, one of the main reasons I, like, loved the Paper Mario, the Paper Mario series, because you could get part, you had partners, you know? And I did know I did, it was, I did notice a little trend, though, it's just like, I don't know, you, maybe you guys noticed this, too. It, I noticed, uh, as the Paper Mario games went on, you got less and less partners, and that, maybe that's why they just got rid of them in general. I don't know, it, it was a bad, I thought it was a bad idea, but I mean, because in the first game you had, I don't know how much, but you had the most, and then in, uh, Thousand Year Door you had, I, I know you had one less than in the first game, I, I don't remember the exact numbers though, and then you only had, uh, three partners in, uh, Super Paper Mario, including, including Mario, not including Mario himself, but, uh, yeah, that was the, uh, last secret mission right there, Silver ranked it, very nice, so, yeah, but guys, next part is the finale, I know, I, I got, I'm excited, I hope you guys are too. Next part is the finale, we're going to be taking on King Boo himself. Alright, so, hold on one sec, it's almost done, and there we go, stop the nightmare, bye.